this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make the Hudson's wrap. This is a warm chunky wrap that's perfect for fall and winter. This is one of my older designs but the yarn has been discontinued and it did not have a video tutorial so I'm working up this pattern for you today and I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky and the wrap is made in three colors. You can choose any colors you like but I have gone with just natural a light gray, so gray heather, as well as black. So you'll need um, one of your cream, one of your gray, and you'll need two balls of the black to make this shawl. So I'll have the link in the description box and where you can purchase the this yarn from a Mary Maxim. You can purchase it from the Canadian or the US site, and there's lots of colors to choose from, and this is a bulky weight number six yarn. I'm also going to be using a 10 millimeter crochet hook and this is a furls streamline hook and this is the cafe style hook that I'll be using today. Okay, so the gauge of our wrap, I'm gonna do it here in four inches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. And then you can also measure out your rows. So we have one, two, three, four, five rows. One, two, three, four, five. So seven stitches and five rows is your gauge. So for this pattern, we'll be starting out with the cream, but of course you can um, change this up, whatever color pattern you want. So I'm going cre cream to gray to black. And we're gonna begin with a magic circle. So take the yarn, wrapping it around your index finger three times. Now you'll take your hook and push through all three loops on your finger. You're just going to grab that first loop, pulling it through, and we'll chain two. Okay, so I've chained two, and that will count as one double crochet. Now we'll work a double crochet and a double crochet. And then we'll work a chain one and three double crochet. So one, two, three. So this pattern is worked in double crochet. So it's a very beginner friendly design. So now here's our ring. So we're gonna take this tail. We're gonna start pulling it. This tail pulls in and this or this loop pulls in, this loop is not pulling in. So take the loop that's pulled, give it a tug. It's just gonna pull that other loop in and then you can take your tail and pull. So now we have our ring secured. So the chain one is our point. So we have three doubles, three doubles and our point here. And again, that chain two counts as one of those doubles. So now what we'll do is chain two. For row two, work two double crochet into that first stitch. And then you'll work across a double crochet in each stitch until you reach the chain one space. So every time we reach this chain one space, you'll crochet one double, a chain one and a double crochet into that space. Okay, so here's the chain one again. This is what we'll work into every time. Now you'll work across one, two. So you'll work all the way across. So as this gets bigger, you just continue to work across until you get to your turning chain and we'll add three double crochets always in that turning chain. So this is what will keep expanding the shawl. Okay, so our next row, again, we'll chain two. So it's just, row three is just a repeat of row two, but I'm gonna work through it with you just so you see how it's beginning to increase. So in the first stitch, we add two. 
we're always starting with that three and ending with the three. Okay, so this is how we're expanding here. Then we'll work across to the chain one space. So we'll, we're just working double crochets in each stitch across. Okay, and then we reach that chain one space and always in the chain one space, we'll do a double, a chain one, and a double. And I like to just make sure I do that chain fairly loose just so we don't miss it. Work another double. Okay, and always just make sure that you can see that first stitch. Sometimes your work could maybe squish over that first stitch. So just always give it a tug over just to make sure that you don't miss a stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and then in that final turning chain right here, we're going to add our three doubles. So one, two, and three. Okay, so here is how it is looking. And what we're going to do is just keep expanding this. Now, depending on how large you want your shawl, you can play around with the number of rows. I'd like to try to work up as much of this ball as possible. And then go to the next ball, work pretty much all of that, I, as many rows as I can with the gray ball, because why, why waste any of the yarn might as well go as big as we can and then we'll move on to the black yarn which will require two balls because at this point we're getting the shawls getting pretty big okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work up my rows in the cream and then I'll meet you up to transfer over to the light gray okay so I have worked up a total of 11 rows so you can count them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I have a total of 66 stitches at this point. Now I'm just going to pull back my last stitch and just show you how to change your color. So I'm going to yarn over, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and then I'm going to leave the last two loops pull in my new color give that a tug and I will chain two okay and then we can just cut off our main, our main color here or our cream color and this is about how much I have left so I'm just going to set that aside and then I'm going to continue in the pattern. So we'll turn. And I'll work two double crochets into that first stitch. And continue working. Double crochets. So every row is increasing. Every row on this side is increasing by three and the other side by three. So in total six, um, we're increasing six stitches every row. So I'm just going to continue now working up as many gray rows really as I can get with a ball and then we're going to switch over to the black. Okay, so I've been working on the shawl with the gray and I've worked up a total of one, two, three, four, five rows, about this much left. Okay, so a little bit of room if your gauge is a little bit off. So now what we're gonna do is make the tassels before we progress on to the black. Okay, so before we move on to the black section, let's make some tassels. So we'll need three tassels in total for each corner. So I've already made two. And what you're gonna do is section off 16 inch 
strands. Okay, so just take your measuring tape, measure out approximately 16 inches, and I want you to section off a total of 24 for your tassel. And then we'll need two extra for the tying. So you wanna do 26 in total. Okay, so I'm just gonna section these pieces off and then I'll meet you up again. Okay, so you just wanna cut all of your loops. I usually do sections of 12 just cause I can easily handle about 12 in my hand. So I have 12 here and then I just cut all of my loops. And I already have a pile of 12 here. So we're just gonna lay them all together. So that gives me my total of 24 and I just need two more pieces. So I'll just roughly measure out two more, cut them. And the tassel is really easy to make. You're just gonna take your one strand here and put it roughly into the center. Tie, and I just like to go around a second time just to keep that secure. I'll just give that a knot. And then take your other piece and we're just gonna wrap it around to make the tassel ball. Go once, go twice. And I always just kinda of like to judge that they're all gonna be about the same. Not that. And one strand's just gonna easily flow down into that and then this one I'm just going to wrap it and thread it down with my yarn needle. Okay and then what you can do is just trim the ends so that they're all nice and even. So you just give it good trim. And just try and get that about all three are roughly the same. Okay, so that's good. So you wanna have your three tassels. Then you know how much yarn you're gonna have left to finish off the shawl. So you can just set those aside until we're finished. So we're gonna switch over to the black, just like we did. Switching over to the gray, we're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then on the last two loops, we're gonna pull through everything a tug. We'll chain two, and turn. And then we are just gonna continue again in our pattern. So now you have the remaining ball from the tassels to work with, as well as another ball of black. So you should be able to work up approximately six rows. So I'm gonna go ahead use up my remaining yarn and then I'll meet you back up to finish it off with attaching um, the tassels. Okay, so I finished off the black with six rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a total of 22 rows and you should be ending with 132 stitches. So then what we wanna do is just attach the tassels to the corners. 
So I just fastened off and I wove in the, in the tails. I did leave one just so I can show you roughly how I weave in my tails. So what you wanna do is just use your needle for bulky yarn. You're gonna go through the stitches, just hiding, hiding that yarn, go one way and then just back in the opposite direction. So just do that with all of the tails. And you can just trim that off. Okay, and what else I did is you don't, it doesn't really need a lot of blocking. So I just did some steam blocking just to make sure that my seat, my top here seam was nice and flat and just kind of to give it a nice finished look. So you could wet block it as well if you prefer or just steam block it. Just be careful not to melt any of the yarn because it is acrylic with the steamer. So just a light steaming. So now you're gonna take your tassel and you're just gonna knot it, each tassel to the corner, the corners, and then you're gonna take your yarn needle and just put the tails and you just go down through the ball. And that tail will just blend right in with your other tails. Okay, and if you need to, give them a trim. I also used my steamer just to steam my tassel just to kind of smooth out any of the edges. So I've tied these ones on as well, but I just need to weave down the yarn tails. So the shawl is measuring to this point about 24 inches and your long ways about 60 inches. So that's about the size, but that of course is just approximate. If it's a little bit off, it's not a big deal. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much guys, have an awesome day.